What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Steven Womack and just recently I posted this photo right here on my Instagram account. It has that really nice um, paper structure, that physical vintage look and you guys have been asking me um, for a tutorial on exactly this look. So today I wanna show you how to turn pictures like this into pictures like this using only your smartphone, the free Lightroom app and another free app called Studio. Now for the first part, we wanna change the colors up a little bit in the free Lightroom app. If you wanna skip that part, if you wanna save some time, I've also created a preset on exactly these color looks. Um, it's linked under this video and it's in my all presets pack with over 300 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures to make it look great. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically updated to the pack. So it's a great deal. Make sure to check that out. Link is under this video. And in the second part of this video, as a little thank you to you guys, I've created this free paper overlay for you to just overlay on top of your images to give it that paper structure. We're gonna do that in the free studio app. I'm really looking forward to that. But now let's dive into the colors first and I'll show you how to create the color look in the free Lightroom app. So the first thing we wanna do is open our picture in that free Lightroom app. So we open the app right here now I've chosen this picture that I took with Cut, a model from Spain here. Um, I shot it digitally, but I wanna show you how to create that physical and that film look. So the first thing you wanna do is go to light here and then go to curve on the upper right side and recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So just kind of that S curve, create that two nodes. And once you've recreated this curve as it is right here, we're done with this part. The next thing we wanna do is kinda just boost up the contrast here to plus five. Really subtle edits only to make it look realistic. Highlights up to around plus four. Shadows down to negative 19. And the whites up to around plus seven. And the blacks up as well to around plus eight is perfect. Then we go over to the colors tab here. What we wanna do is just boost up the temperature again really slightly to around plus seven. And then the saturation, we wanna boost it up a little bit to around plus 16 right here. We scroll up, hit mix on the upper right side, and now we want to get those skin tones popping. So what we wanna do is just for the red tones here, boost up the hue a little bit to around plus 19 and boost up the saturation as well to plus eight and pull down the luminance to give it that kind of that tan look to around negative 19. Orange tones, same thing, we wanna make them pop more. So we're gonna boost the hue a little bit to plus three. We're gonna boost the saturation all the way to plus 14 and the luminance, we're gonna pull that down to around negative 20 right here. That's perfect, we're done with the mix. We go over to the grading, it's right next to it there. And what you wanna do for the shadows here is pull to a hue of around 209, and now boost up the saturation to plus 24, and the luminance up a little bit to around 14. Right there is perfect. Then for the midtones, what we wanna do is pull the hue to around 36, that yellow area and the saturation up to I'm gonna check, uh, 17 is perfect. Highlights here, um, hue to around 220, that blue area for the highlights, and then boost up the saturation to 26 right here. And then we're done. The last changes we're gonna do is in the effects tab here, what you wanna do is just boost up the clarity a little bit to around plus 12 to make the image more crisp. And then we want to dehaze a little bit we want to boost that up to plus four to give it a to give it a little bit of contrast um, and um, then we're done we can export the image right here export to camera roll now it's saving to our camera roll so this is the first part once again the color tones and now we're gonna jump into the second part where we're gonna add that paper structure that paper overlay once again before you can do that, make sure to download that free paper overlay that I've created for you as a thank you for your trust, for your support on this channel. So the link is under this video, go there now, download it now, and then we can jump over into the studio app and add that for free. So once you have this, uh, we're going over to the studio app here. I've also linked it under this video. It's a free app. And then we hit plus there, and now we choose image. 
And now we just want to take the image that we have just created right here, hit the check mark on the upper right side, and now we have it imported in the studio app. Now we want to overlay that paper structure. So make sure to download it now if you haven't already linked under this video for absolutely free. And um, then we hit image here, go to all photos. And then we go to recent because that's where it's going to be once it's downloaded. And now we import it here. It's on top and you can see it's just that gray layer. We want to increase it so it covers the whole image. And now down here, you want to scroll over all the way to the right where it says blend and then all the way over to the right where it says hard light here. And we can already see that structure in the background. And now it's on top of that image. We can't really see the structure um, that good yet. So what we want to do down here is scroll all the way to where it says adjust right there. And now we just want to boost up the exposure. And now you can see how it's coming through. So maybe around wherever you like it, maybe 13 looks pretty cool to me. And now we can also kind of boost up the contrast here to around, yeah, maybe all the way to 100 um, to really get that um, contrast going and to really see that paper effect in the end. Hit the check mark on the upper right side, export on the upper right side, save on the bottom left, and now it's saving to your camera roll and it should be in your gallery right now. Um, so that's it already. Once again, here's a full before and after and I really love this look. I can't tell you um, how much I like this physical paper structure. I'm really into that vintage look anyway, but adding that paper layer really gives it um, that cherry on top. So I really love it. I hope you guys do too. And once again, if you haven't already, make sure to check out that all presets pack that I've created for you. If you want to step up that creative look on your images, it's linked under this video. Feel free to check it out. And of course, that free paper overlay that we used in this tutorial as well um, as a little thank you. It's also linked under this video. Go check that out. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if there's anything else I can take a look at for you. I'm always really happy for your inspiration and your feedback. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy. Peace.